Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, a heavyweight champion of the world. Yes! Just got the phone from Sugar Hill Stewart in America. We're gonna smash AJ. One round, two rounds, three rounds, done. Can't wait. With contracts exchanged by both parties and returned with alterations and most things being agreed, just there's, there's one sticking point still left with this Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury fight and um, that sticking point is whose name comes first is it gonna be AJ versus Fury or is it gonna be Fury versus AJ it's gonna be Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua or Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury that's what they still yet to decide <laughs> they got things like um, who's gonna weigh in first um, who's gonna walk out first who's gonna um, get the first change room just you know little little minor bits like that they're still yet to decide things like that um it's just a matter of ego they just gotta put their egos to the side and just crack on but in all honesty we any sensible sensible knowledgeable you don't even have to be knowledgeable you just gotta be sensible any sensible fan knows whose name should come first and that's Anthony Joshua for one he's been champion the longest two he's got more belts three he's the bigger name so Fury just put it, put it to the side and you know let's get the fight on anyways let's let's check out Eddie Hearn's statement still to be discussed I'm looking forward to that one I suppose you have whose name is first, who goes to the ring first, who has the first changing room, who is waiting first. Jokes aside, that's not something that would necessarily be solved in one phone call, but it would be a discussion point over the next week or so. I can't imagine a Zoom conflict. It's better to paper it and discuss it and come to an amicable agreement. For me, AJ is the bigger draw globally, but again, we are not interested in a debate where the fight falls apart because of things like that. We just need to box that off. In any unification fight, this is always going to be a conversation that can be arduous. In my opinion, this is just a matter of um, Tyson Fury getting a bit too big for his boots. For it's, it's, it, this is just obvious. Well, Tyson Fury and his team. This is just obvious, in my opinion. Um... Fury, do you remember when Fury beat Klitschko? There were raving rumors. Actually, even to now, I don't, I don't believe the rumors. Now, I believe this to be a fact that they were suffering poor ticket sales. That's why the fight was called off. That Fury um, Klitschko two, the rematch, it wasn't selling, and it was supposed to happen in Manchester. You think if AJ was gonna come on, come on, AJ Klitschko in London? What you, you saw what happened there? He's the bigger name, clearly. And also, another um, another example was this past December when AJ was going to fight Pulev. They were supposed to get Fury out against Takam or some other bum, whoever they, whoever they were going to put him up against. Why didn't that fight happen? They said they couldn't put the, uh, put the funds together. That's what we're hearing. They couldn't put the funds together for such a big name. Do you think, come on, AJ got out. AJ got out. He got out. He fought in December. No problem with funding or none of that. None of that. AJ has never suffered from no um, poor ticket sales, no poor pay pay per view sales. None of that. Fury versus Wilder one flop. Fury Wilder two flop. They didn't make no profits of them fights. What AJ fight hasn't turned over a profit? It's come on, this is just clear. Fury, just get over it. And let's get on with the fight. You're the B side. AJ's the A side. Let the fight. Let's just get on with it. But but you know, if Fury's team are refusing to budge, AJ, you know, you can just just let them have certain things. You know, just negotiate. You see, things are always negotiable. You know, if both parties want the same thing, this is this is just minor stuff. It's, irrelevant stuff really just just let him let him have whatever he wants to have and let's get the fire on really but fury be sensible just play your position b side aj's already conceded with the 50 50 for me anyways 
I think that was him conceding. I don't think this is the future fight at all. Well, financially. But you know, if you want something to happen, you gotta concede. And that's what he did. He gave the guy 50 50 and let's get the fight on. It's clearly a way bigger name than the other in this um, equation. So, yeah, that was him conceding. And yeah, kudos to him. If he wants to do further conceding, that's up to him. But, you know, in my opinion, if you just play your position, just get the fight on. It's not, it's not that big a deal. See, it doesn't matter. You know, what you got to do is just, you know, just Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. It's not a big deal. If you if you feel you're going to win the fight, just agree. Just, just yeah, just, just get the fight on. Also, if you remember, it might have been pre or post Ruiz 2, AJ Ruiz 2. AJ was talking about he enjoyed the the fact he walked in first. He walked into the ring first before Andrew Ruiz. He said he wouldn't mind in future if the opportunity presented itself. He would actually he would actually walk in first if one of his opponents insisted on it. So this might be the opportunity. <laughs> he might just say, okay, you know what, Fury, I'll walk in first. I'll I'll weigh in first and yeah, that's just Let's just get the fight on, really, man. Let's get the fight on. Whoever, whoever agrees to do what, I don't care. Just let's get the fight on. Fury, be sensible. So, what do you guys make of this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section below. Do, do you care? Do you mind? Or are you just like me? You just want to see the fight? Or, also, what, what's your opinion? Who do you believe is the A side in this equation? Who should you know we should get to decide what they want to do name first or walk out first or whatever what do you think anyways leave your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like subscribe and click the notification bell for the notifications yeah i'm out